How's it going everyone? John here, and in secret, I've been playing one of my favourite games of all time, on Steam. Persona 4 Golden is finally free from the shackles of the PlayStation Vita, and I could not be happier, but before we get into this comparison fully, I recommend watching this video in full screen and in 1080p, because otherwise, I'm not entirely sure the advancements are that clear. But once you are in that resolution, I am sure it will be a night and day difference. So I went back to the PlayStation Vita version and recorded this footage on a PlayStation TV. But this game was never native resolution. So the PlayStation Vita screen is 544p, and I believe this game runs around 470p, around that sort of area. So the HUD elements are up but the actual game resolution is rendered much lower on Vita. But on PC, not only can you render whatever resolution you want, but any frame rate you want. So the footage you're seeing here is 1080p 60fps versus, uh, I suppose, 470p 30fps on the Vita. So just in terms of image quality and clarity, there is a massive difference. But in terms of models and actual textures and shadows, everything else appears to be around the same. Uh, we also have anti-aliasing uh, anti on, on PC, which appears to be off on Vita entirely. But like things like text uh, and, uh, and images in the background are much easier to make out. Which is both a blessing and a curse, as we're about to see in the scene after this one. But I just love seeing how clear everything is. It's just so janky going back on the Vita. And like to be fair to the Vita though, it will never look this janky on the Vita screen. But like look at these images right now, the trees in the background. They're clearly JPEGs or, P or PNGs. Um, I think the Vita hides that rather well though, because the screen is so small that most of the uh, lesser elements are masked away. But when you put it on a PlayStation TV, it really blows everything up and makes it look a lot worse. So the Steam version basically lets you play on, on a TV in full screen and have it look beautiful. Now, a dark sheet isn't usually there on the same day. This was a different day to the rest of the footage. But yeah, apart from that, everything is more or less the exact same. You can sort of make out the markings on the blackboard there, which you can't see on the Vita version. And there's actually a little, a cool little detail that I never knew was in this game until I played it on PC. But it's just great to see like everything in full clarity. And I know a lot of people want to see this game on the Switch. I'm one of those people, and maybe this is sort of a a gateway to that. And if you look closely at the newspaper over there, you can just about see what Dojima's reading. And the same with the fridge. All these sort of small details are now much easier to make out. But if you were going into this expecting like a night and day difference, it's not quite that. But here's a cool detail. The calendar has a Persona 3 little Easter egg over there. I never knew that was in there. But if you were going into this expecting something more along the lines of a remake or a remaster, this isn't really that. Like, pay attention to the text a moment. It's the exact same font, the exact same size. And that's kind of strange for a modern port. Most of the time the text is made much smaller. But here it's identical. And it can kind of feel like you're just playing a Vita game that's just been injected with steroids. But you will notice the actual HUD elements themselves look a lot better. Like you can just about see uh, Yosuke right there. I was kind of concerned how these would upscale, but they did a brilliant job. But if you focus on the models themselves, there is nothing different about them. Same animation, same polygon count, they look identical, and if anything, being clearer isn't necessarily favourable to them. So they look a lot more static than they used to. A lot, a lot of the stuff that was hidden in the lower resolution is no longer hidden, so it's, it's a double-edged sword. Some details look better, other ones just kind of look a little bit more jarring now. Uh, you'll also notice the text boxes are going a lot faster on PC, I'm not sure what that's about. For some reason, the automatic text boxes, the the actual rhythm of them has been changed. So they, they now play a lot faster than they used to, which doesn't always work with the flow of conversation, but it does get you through the game faster at the very least. But yeah, you notice just lighting, models, textures, assets, they are all more or less the exact same. But the game is actually a lot bigger than it was on Vita. The Vita version was around 3 gigabytes, whereas this is a 13 gigabyte game. One of the reasons for that is there is dual audio in this port, which wasn't in the Vita version. So if you want to play this with English subtitles but with Japanese voices, you can do that. And that's just something that's really, really cool. It's also great like look out the window and see these details, which I never really noticed before. I didn't really re realize there was like a garden out there. But now that it's, it's sort of brought to your attention, it's all way better. And like, if you look at the table over there, everything on there is a blur on Vita. But on PC, looks absolutely fine. 
And we've got the bench over there. The shadows were clearly baked in, so there's nothing different going on there. Uh, and just examining every texture, yeah, nothing's different. So this really is just the Vita game in HD, yeah. which is a great thing. I'm, I mean, just the fact that it's not on Vita anymore is something that really excites me, and I'm sure it's going to excite a lot of other people too. Uh, and it even runs at a way higher frame rate as well, so it's just great to see this game looking so fluid. But anyway, I'll shut up and let the rest of the video play, so thank you for watching, and for more on Persona 4 Golden on PC, check out our review. Until next time, everyone. Bye. I don't have a mom, so... I don't know what to do with these flowers. It's finally over. Ooh, what a load off. I bet every student feels like this after exams are over. Hey, quiet down! So what did you write for number seven? The one about what that referred to in the sentence? Um, I put her sorrowful expression. Oh, cr Whoa, something's here! A, a fox? When did it... Whoa, where did this guy come from? Dude, it looks scary, too. Oh, this apron. I think I've seen it at the shrine before. Huh? Curious with leaves? Huh? Cooperate with us? Are you serious? So he wants money in exchange for fixing us up?
Yeah.